Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've seen this picture of the pickup at Gone before. I immediately fell in love with her hair, her makeup, her jewelry, pretty much everything in this picture. And I decided to create a similar choker like what she's wearing. And this is how mine looks. You can use the idea in this video to create many more chokers or necklaces or even headbands. So if you want to know how I made this, please keep on watching. To make this, you will need cardstock, which is also called KG cardboard. You will need red velvet paper or cloth. You will need fabric glue, some 3D fabric paint, metal eye pins, jump rings, some flat back pearls, a pearl chain or a ball chain, rhinestones in different colors for decorating, and a few regular string pearls. First, I'm going to make the body of the choker. For this, I'm going to cut my velvet paper into a strip. The length of the strip totally depends on the size of your neck, but for the width, I'm keeping it about one and a half inches. You can size up or size down depending on your preference. To make this velvet paper sturdy, I'm going to cut a similar size in my cardstock and I'm going to stick the two together. Next, I'm going to start decorating the strip with rhinestones. I'm going to take transparent rhinestones and start creating flowers by placing a large rhinestone in the center and surrounding it with six smaller rhinestones. I'm going to create three flowers in total. Around these three flowers, I will place more smaller rhinestones and those will be the leaves of the flowers. Next, with my 3D gold paint, I'm going to go around these rhinestones just like you draw henna with a henna cone. Exactly like that, I'm going to go around these rhinestones and I'm going to follow a similar design that's in the choker that Deepika Parkone is wearing. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to add a strip of flat pearls right at the bottom of the choker. In the back of the choker, I will be adding some jump rings to attach the pendants that I will be making next. To make the side pendants, I'm going to first cut two cardstocks together and stick them together to make it thick and sturdy. If you have a thicker cardboard, you can use that as well. And to decorate this pendant, I'm going to make a similar flower that I made in the body of the choker with the transparent rhinestones and I'm going to go around it with the gold 3D paint. Next, I'm going to cut the flower once the paint is dry. It takes about 30 minutes for the paint to dry. To make the dangling pearls from this pendant, I'm going to take this eye pin and open up the eye of the eye pin where I can attach four pearls. And then I'm going to lock everything in its place just so the pearls are secure and it's easier for me to attach this to the back of the pendant. I made several of these because I'll need it for three different pendants. Now I'm going to start attaching these to the back of the pendant, about five for each pendant, using fabric glue. 
and to attach this pendant to the body of the necklace I'll also need a jump ring which I will be attaching on the other side or the top of the pendant. To make the main central pendant I'm going to first make a flower out of transparent rhinestones as well as red color teardrop rhinestones and I'm going to use the 3D paint again around these and once it's dry I'm going to cut it out. At the back of this pendant, I'm going to attach three jump rings. Two of them will be used to attach another dangler to this and one of them to attach this pendant directly onto the body of the choker. To make a dangler attachment to this main pendant, I'm going to take my cardboard and cut a V-shaped strip and I'm going to decorate it with rhinestones as well as my 3D paint. Then once that's dry, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to stick my pearl danglers to this and I will attach this to the main pendant using jump rings. This next step is totally optional. I had some extra chain left so I just attached some more danglers to it. I thought I will decorate the choker a little bit more but you don't have to do this. Next I'm going to attach everything together by opening up the jump rings in the body of the choker. First I will attach the chain and then the pendants. To decorate the top part of the choker you can either add a string of pearls or rhinestones or crystals. I had already made this pearl choker in the past so I just decided to attach the same onto it. That's it you guys, that's how I made this choker. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this tutorial will inspire you to make your own jewelry. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. 
I will see you again on Thursday with a brand new video and I will be announcing the winner of my giveaway. You take care and I will see you soon. Bye.